Welcome back to another Python tutorial. Well, in the last episode, we learned about variables, printing variables, and how variables um, are of different types. And in this episode, we're going to learn about data types. Number one, we're going to learn about the different data types Python supports. Number two, we're going to um, experiment with variables and the data types. And number three, we're going to cast. Cast the data types onto strings, to integers. It's going to be very fun. So, are you ready, guys? Let's get coding. Hey, guys. I'm back in Replit. I'm so excited to do this Python episode. So, let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna go click this new REPL button, Python. Mm, let's do, okay, it's data type, data types, data types four, which I mean lesson four. Creating REPL. Okay guys, let me tell you what a data type is. A data type in programming is basically defining what type of data you're using or a variable will hold. A variables can store data of different types and different types can do different things. Python has the following data types built in by default in these categories. Text type, numeric type, sequence types, mapping types, set types, boolean types, and binary types. We'll go through most of them today. So, in we've, we went over a couple of these in the last class. We didn't go over it, but we've used them before. String and integer, right? But today, I'll go over them in more depth and new ones. So, let me get started with the simple um, text type. We've been using this all the time. Okay, let's start off with strings. Strings in Python are surrounded by either single or double quotation marks. Okay, let me show you an example. I'll call it S1 is equal to um, the quote, single quotes, um, and I'm going to do hello. And next I'm going to do S2 is equal to quotes, hello. No, sorry, double quotes. We've been using double quotes till now, but it might be a surprise for you that you can use single quotes too. If we if we do print the type of S1 and S2, we would get string. Let me do S2 in this case. Print type S1 class string, okay? Now let me print it for S2. Let me just copy this. And V S2. And let's run it. Both of them are strings, you see? Assigning a string to a variable is done with the variable name followed by an equal sign in the string, like just like I showed you here. You can assign a multi-line string to a variable by using three quotes. Let me show you that too. Okay, let's create a variable called a uh, variable called S3 and show you the triple quote fun. Is equal to triple quotes. Hello. And then we can do next line. My name is RBJ. And that's Close the triple quotes. Oops, got an extra code in there. Okay, now we just put a space there and run it. Oops, I forgot to print it. Print S3. Look, it comes in different lines. Hello, my name is Abhijay. 
Or you could also use three single quotes here. I'll change these to one, two, three. Right here again. One, two, and three. Okay, let's run it. See, same thing. Hello, my name is WJ. If you give quotes, Python will automatically define that it's a string. Moving on to number types. Okay, let me delete all this. There, oops, there are three numeric types in Python, basically. Integer, float, and complex. We'll be covering int and float today. Um, variables of uh, numeric types are created when you assign a value to them. Let's say uh, we could do x is equal to 4, or we could do y is equal to 10.9, anything, okay? And um, what I will do to just show you here, um, I, I forgot to tell you that if you do a hashtag, it's a comment. So this is a integer and this is a float. By assigning these numbers, we're creating these variables as numeric types, okay? Let me show you by printing the type, okay? So let me go and do this. Print um, type print type x and now it's a class int and now let's do y and it's a float see you guys okay an integer or an int is a whole number it's positive or negative without decimals of unlimited length the an integer could be negative 10, positive 10. It's all the numbers um, negative or positive without decimals, basically. So a float. A float or a floating point number is a number or positive or ne negative. It's, it's positive or negative containing one or more decimals. And you can also enter in whole numbers in as it will... Um, Take it in as 8.00, okay? So, those are basically floats. Let me give you a couple examples. Um, you could say the float could be 10.9, it could be 1.00, it could be negative 0.65. You, you get the point, right? Okay, type conversion. You can convert from one type to another with the constructors int or float. Let me show you that real quick. So here we have x and y, remember? So we're going to convert the x into a float and y into an int. This is going to be fun. Okay, we're going to print x and then we're going to print y. Let me just test if it's working. Okay, good. And we'll also print the type of x and y in a new line. So we can see the a value and the type. Okay, print type. Print type. Okay, so let's test this out. Okay. Here, so it's, we're going to convert x into a float and y into an int. We're going to create two variables here, new ones, x1 and y1. x1 is going to be equal to um, float x. And y1 is going to be equal to int y and now we're going to print x1 and y1 also start by print it will do another print statement here and do type x 
this one and then we're going to copy this and then do type for y1 okay let's run it so starting off our original um variables 4 and 10.9 and the classes you can clearly see classes integer and float and once we casted the integer into a float, it's 4.0. And now we casted the float to an integer, it is 10. You can see the decimal point is gone. And you can also clearly see over here again, class of float and integer. So this is how you would cast it if you need it in your calculations. So I'm going to show you casting from a string to a number now. Let me clear this and show you how to convert string to a number. Okay, let's start. Let's create a variable called v. We're going to have v is equal to, um, inside it we're gonna put quotes, and then we we'll put a number eight. We're going to print the type of v, um, type of v, let's run it, okay, class string. You, It's a string, and you can clearly see it's a string because of the quotes. Now I want, but I wanted to convert it into a number so I can do calculations with that with the with the string. Okay, we're gonna create another variable called y, and we're going to, in the variable we're going to do a. Um, we're going to do int of v, and now we're going to do the. We're going to print y and run it oops sorry guys we have to print y we have to print the type of y still a mistake there type of y it's a class integer see we just converted a string to an integer woohoo okay moving on from casting we're going to do booleans now Booleans are really fun, especially the name is really fun too. Booleans. Okay. Booleans represent one of the two values, true or false. In programming, you often need to know if an expression is true or false. You can evaluate any expression in Python and get one of the two answers, true or false. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you how to create a Boolean variable called a B v is equal to true we just created a boolean variable guys you, can, you want to see something really cool if i put 10 is equal to equal to 10 and if i print v as you can see we got the value of true isn't it cool okay when you compare two values the expression is evaluated and python returns the boolean answer I'll show you how expression, expressions are evaluated. So let me um, print, uh, let's see, 11 is uh, less than six. And let's see, it's gonna say false. Or let's say, uh, let's change that to greater than true. And let's put equals and it's false you see okay guys in this video i covered the following data types i'm going to say um string integer floats and the one we just did booleans and in the next one we're going to do the collections or the arrays you could say lists tuples sets and dictionaries Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you um, didn't um, subscribe, please subscribe and keep coding.